this demo, we want to actually uh, generate a document and save that into our Google Drive. So we've set up our Google Drive to connect to a path on uh, a Google Shared Drive. So this path is rather complex and I'll show you. Uh, first of all, I have created a formula field it's called Save to Path. You can choose your own name, of course. But this formula field says that the path should be the account name, then the uh, name of the folder called Opportunities, and then the name of the opportunity. So we have that field on our uh, page layout, as you can see over here. We have it uh, saved to path, that's our folder name, then the folder called opportunities, the subfolder, and then the folder called uh, the name of the opportunity we're currently in. So all files have to be uh, stored in this, um, in this path. When I look here in my uh, shared drive, you can indeed see that under YouTube, I have my accounts folder, and then I have uh, the name of my uh, account, the opportunities folder, and the name of my uh, opportunity, so where the files should come. Okay, maybe I'll quickly show you the configuration of the component as well. I go to edit page. And on the edit page, I wanna select my component. And on this component, the uh, Google Drive access. And as you can see here, I've uh, hard-coded the, uh, uh, the first directory account, which is this one over here. And then I've put in the merge field to have my uh, saved path. So this is connecting to my uh, YouTube uh, drive because it's the drive ID of my YouTube. You can uh, see that over here. That's my YouTube drive. And now, okay, this is of course the path that we want to direct to. Same thing if I want to generate files via PDF Butler, via the uh, PDF Butler components or via any um, button that is on the, uh, on the page. Uh, for this demo, I also generated a button over here. As you can see that I want to generate the document and store it into G Drive. Now, when we want to do that, we need to add an actionable. An actionable is an action that happens before or after the document is generated. In this case, it's of course an after actionable. And it's after actionable, we can configure just like we configured our component. So let's take a look. I have my docconfig. My docconfig here has my actionable for the uh, uh, to store the file under the G drive, the Google drive. And as you can see here, this is my after actionable. This class is very important. You will be able to copy paste it from the uh, YouTube video. So it's very easy to uh, not make mistakes. Uh, then we need a data source, a data source because we need to uh, be able to um, identify this path, of course. So this data source, I always create a separate one for this kind of actionables to make sure that I do not have too many fields in there. And in this one, I only have the fields, of course, that I need to uh, to store in my paths. So I, did, I don't use the name field and the ID field. So personally, I, could, uh, I, I would uh, remove them. But yeah, it's not required here. The, the number of fields is not that big. Uh, also, of course, I have my WHERE class because I now filter on the record ID. This one is generated via the Sockle Builder, so it's very easy to create it. I just have my WHERE class um, for the record ID, for the opportunity I'm currently on. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, this is my query to select uh, the data that I need to resolve this uh, path. Then uh, I have, of course, the same drive ID that I have in my um, in my uh, lightning components and I have the same path to directory. So you have first the accounts path and then the path that's uh, defined by my formula that says first the accounts, then the folder opportunities and then the folder for the opportunity name. Okay, this one is active, means that when I run this docconfig, it's linked to a docconfig, it will actually store that file immediately in my uh, Google Drive. Let's, uh, let's test that. So first of all, I'm gonna uh, click this button. Now this one will uh, actually just generate a file, show a preview, but also run all of the actionables. So yeah, that worked out fine. So if I refresh over here, that would show me my extra documents, as you can see, 
the extra document is there that I've just generated. If I can look at the preview, this is the one that I've seen in the preview as well. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'm quickly going to do is remove this document just to make sure that uh, because I'm going to generate the same one and then it would uh, seem double. So I'm going to remove this document over here. Now refresh this page. And then we're going to generate it via the, uh, um, the button over here. So the button will open up a Visual Force page. The Visual Force page will generate the document and run all of the actionables and then uh, kind of come back to my opportunity. Let's take a look. So I call uh, the, the Visual Force page. So here the uh, we now have to wait until the document is generated and pushed into um, Google Shared Drive. Okay, so we're now back at our opportunity. And as we can see over here, we have uh, hopefully uh, now our uh, shared drive and we have our, uh, our document that we have just created via the button. So yeah, the button explained is on our uh, academy and this is just a normal, a normal button. It's explained on our academy and how to create the actionables is also explained in the uh, academy. Okay. Thank you very much.